how much is a broken washing machine really worth when it's not you know feasible to really fix it i have behind me a cabrio washer which we are not going to repair the thing that's wrong with it is that the interface won't work the buttons won't respond to commands and the cost to fix it's a little bit too much for us to bother with so what i'm going to do is take the unit apart piece by piece list what i'm pulling from it and then a final value total to see how much it's worth if you've ever gone and purchased new parts for a broken washing machine you realize there's a lot of money involved in repairing something when there's a lot of parts on it so I haven't done this necessarily before, but I wanted to take this one piece by piece apart and then videotape all of it to see what really happens in terms of how much money it's worth. Brand new, it'd be worth $1,000. Used, if it was working, probably about $300, $350. But used, I think I can get a lot more money out of it just by virtue of the fact that this interface used is no less than $100 and even new, it's only 150 so right here alone if it was working would be a hundred dollars so we're gonna go through this we won't be talking much but we will have relaxing music or some bull crap like that so sit back and enjoy me taking apart this washing
So I had to take a detour on the set when I had a staff member come in and start asking me questions and I started realizing my hand was like totally bleeding. It was much worse than what it looks like. So I had to stop what I was doing and uh, worked a little bit more on the set behind the scenes. I was not able to take the gear case out because the spanner nut in the tub is in like really bad shape, it's rusted. So I'm riding the gear case off as well as the hub, which was also like super rusted. I found 25 cents in the washing machine. So that's some extra money. On top of it, the scrap metal, we, I had a postal scale and weighed uh, both the casing and the inner washing basket together. And we're gonna be able to scrap about 108 pounds out on this in addition to the used parts. At the moment, I'm up to $385 in used parts before fees come out. And that doesn't include the scrap metal at 40 or $50 a ton. So I'm going to be able to clear, say about 390, including the scrap on this. There was not a lot of insulated wire to deal with or copper or other things like that. So it's just all going to get junked in one giant lump sum. I could weigh the power cord by itself, but we may be plus or minus another 50 cents on the unit. The power board alone, the control board is worth $120. The lid or the glass uh, top to the washer is 85. So those are the two, definitely the two largest, most expensive things on the unit. Everything else runs between 25 and $40. And that's with using my rule of thumb that I'm not going to sell anything off the machine that isn't at least worth, say, 15 or $20 once I have shipping done, as well as not listing things that aren't going to sell at all. That meant that the hinges on the washing machine that I showed on the camera are not included. They're basically worthless. We did include the gear case in the unit, the wash plate hub, or the uh, interface itself, which was clearly shot, and that's why we scrapped it. Those three things together would have added another two to $250 in value to the washer on a used basis. So if everything was working in it, it would be worth about $600 in pieces, or at least that's the average value I'd calculate before fees. So everything considered, the washer's worth more broken in parts than it is working to a customer new. I would be selling it for maybe $300 to $350 working, and in parts, after fees, you would be making a little bit more than that. The catch with something being totally working and selling to a customer versus throwing it on the internet is that when this sells in pieces, it's going to sell one thing at a time. I may make $100 off the control board pretty fast, but the rest of it may sell over the course of two or three months. You never know. So that's kind of the randomness of the nature of selling used parts. I'll try to post some information about what it actually sells for. I'm expecting probably 30% less than the $400 roughly uh, due to shipping and fees and other things. So I'll probably clear about $300, maybe $275 once I get offers and different things on the machine. But it's better than having to put $100 to $150 in repairing it and then maybe making $100 off the machine working after it's been fixed. So if you like this kind of teardown video, make sure to comment on the video and say, hey, I'd like to see a different kind of machine, a washer, another type, or a fridge or a stove or uh, even a dryer, which those typically don't scrap for a whole lot, but it's kind of fun. So yeah, 108 pounds right beside me. The, the cabinet itself was about 43 pounds, including that top. And then the giant drum there was about 64 pounds. And that doesn't include some of the plastic uh, to the sides or the padding inside. Uh, so yeah, $40, $50 a ton, it's not a lot of money, but it's something and it's worth way more to take the parts out than it is just to throw it to the junkyard. Of course, scraps at an all time low, if it was $200 a ton, it really wouldn't be bad to just junk a machine, but there are some very valuable parts to take off of it. So enjoy.